because the cover can be installed on a junction box that's packed full of wires doesn't mean that it's safe or code compliant. The current passing on the wires causes heat, and too much heat can cause the insulation on the wires to break down. A crowded electric box is a potential fire hazard. This video is for an electrical system in the United States that uses the National Electric Code. Follow the NEC version and any other codes that may have been adopted by your state or area. I'll be using NEC 2014. This part of the code does not often change, so all versions should be very similar. If the box will not contain any internal clamps, devices such as switches or receptacles, or fittings for light fixtures, two tables, and a few simple rules from the code can be used to determine the maximum amount of wires allowed in a box. Calculating the volume used in a box containing receptacles, switches, or light fixtures is more complicated. To find a video that discusses that topic, click on the channel name Know How Now and look for a video titled How Many Wires in a Box? Box Fill Calculation. This overfill box will be used as an example on how to apply the rules and tables to find the correct size box. Table 314.16 alpha lists standard size metal boxes, their volume, and maximum number of wires permitted in each size box. If you're using plastic boxes or plaster rings, check the item to find the volume stamped or printed on it. Don't do your own math for the volume of the box. Table 314.16a says this 4 by 4 by 1 and a half inch box has 21 cubic inches of volume. If you multiply 4 times 4 times 1.5 inches, it equals 24 cubic inches. There are four rules that apply to counting the conductors. The term conductor is used by the code and it means one wire. So the first rule says each conductor that originates outside the box and terminates or is spliced within the box shall be counted once. The example box has 12 conductors entering from outside of the box. They are all spliced and all are size American wire gauge 14. Notice that there are bare ground wires entering the box also. They'll be counted later under a different rule. Table 314.16 Bravo lists how many cubic inches to allow for each conductor. Each number 14 conductor uses 2 inches of space inside of the 4 by 4 by 1 and a half inch box. Multiply 12 number 14 conductors that each use up 2 cubic inches of space and that's 24 cubic inches. The 4 by 4 by 1 and a half inch box's volume is 21 cubic inches. That confirms that the box is too small. There is an easy way to add volume to the box. I'll talk about that later. Look at the column for 14 gauge wire and the chart shows the maximum amount of conductors allowed in the example box is 10. Next rule. Each conductor that passes through the box without splice or termination shall be counted once. The example box does not have any wires passing through without a splice or a termination. Uh, this box has a NM cable passing through it, so the count would be two, one for each 14 gauge conductor inside of the sheath. The ground wire would not be counted, and something to think about is that if this cable did have a splice, you would double the count because you'd have to add two for this entry into the box and two to the count for this entry into the box. The third rule. 
This probably doesn't apply to anybody, but I do want to mention it. Each coil or loop of unbroken conductor not less than twice the minimum length required for free conductors in Article 300.14 shall be counted twice. If you have spare conductors in the box or the conductors are very long inside the box, uh, more than 12 inches, then read Article 300.14. Rule 4. Where one or more equipment grounding conductors or equipment bonding jumpers enter a box, add one to the count, use the largest size ground conductor in the box or volume. What that means is that you count all of the ground wires in the box as one and use the volume for the largest ground conductor in the box. Now in our example, those black cables only have a 16 gauge bare ground wire and the newer NM cables have a 14 gauge ground wire so the rule applies that we would use the volume for a 14 gauge conductor which we know is 2 cubic inches. I'll add the volume for one number 14 conductor which is 2 cubic inches to our box fill count and we have a total of 26 cubic inches of volume used up by the conductors that are inside of the box. The easiest way to make the example box code compliant is to add an extension ring. Now, the extension ring won't have a volume stamped on it because it's the same size as the box and so when you add the extension ring onto the box there is now a total of 42 cubic inches of volume. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name Know How Now to find other videos and thanks for watching.